gentlemen, stand up and make some noise for your great competition, I The bridge building competition is really one of the most highly anticipated events all year. It's something where students from all grades can participate, again, multiple different classes, and we go through different rounds of testing to test them up to certain levels of efficiency, and it's a raucous event. We've got music playing, and it's just great to see them standing up out of their seats and cheering um, as the best bridges are broken in front of everybody. One of the things in all subjects at Ransom Everglades is we want to try to find situations and problems and circumstances that really push our students to think harder and to really challenge them. I teach engineering class, I teach biology class, but I actually spend more of my time on the robotics program in terms of finding those kids who have that additional interest, something beyond the classroom, who want to really make a new thing. Few things bring out initiative more than get telling a kid, here's an opportunity to make something of your design, something you're going to do, you're responsible for whether it flies or it sinks. And suddenly, I mean, they, they really care. Their personal pride is on the line. Um, their desire to, to look good in front of their peers is on the line. Some of the, the best moments in science aren't really eureka moments. They're where you say, that's funny, I didn't think that was going to happen. And you try to figure out how, why it didn't work the way you did. And that's where often the most interesting uh, questions are answered. You know, science applies to the world in complex ways and you have to be ready for what is just a messy problem. And so the bridge building competition is the messy problem. Students fall into this habit of thinking everything's about what will it look like on my college transcript. I, as a teacher, that's, that's one of the saddest things you can hear because you want them to love it the way you do. You want them to, to own that knowledge and, and have it equip them to do great things because you know these kids are going to do great things. 